Hello everybody, it's me, Program Keeper 17 and today we're going to be doing Mass League Contest Paper, and it's going to be 2006 to 2007, 6th grade, and we're going to be doing questions 1 through 5. So, now let's go to the first question. So the first question is, how many dozens are in 24 plus 36 plus 48 plus 60? So, we know that one dozen is 12. So, there are two 12s in 24, so there would be 2. There are, so 12 times 3 is 36, so it would be 3. 48 divided by four, 12 is 4. And 60 divided by 12 is 5. So now, if we add all of these together, we would get 14. So our answer would be D. The next question is, if a gumball costs a quarter each, then the cost of 40 gumballs that I ate today was, and so, so, if one gumball equals twenty five cents, and so what we have to do is forty times twenty five and Without doing that, we can just see, so 25 cents, it would be take four quarters of 425s to get 100. So that would be one dollar for four quarters, and 40 divided by four would be 10, so we would get 10 dollars. So our answer would be C, 10 dollars. The next question is 45 divided by three equals three times blank. So, for this one, what we can do, there's a few ways we can do it. The first way, we can just guess and check and multiply it numbers by 3. Or we can divide 45 by 3. And if we do that, we would get 15. And we can check if the answer would be 15. And we can check this by doing 15 times 3 equals 45. And that was what we divided by by. So D would be your final answer. Question 4 would be 1.25125 times 5 fourths equals 1.25125 times blank. We can just do 5 fourths, but we can't really get an answer. We, the, the, none of A, B, C, or D are, is not 5 fourths. And 5 fourths, if you, can no, if you noticed, is an improper fraction and an improper fraction m m means when a numerator is greater than the denominator and we can now we have to change it to a mixed number so we can change it into one and one fourth and if we want to write it in a decimal it would be one point and then one fourth would be two five So our answer would be B, 1.25. The final of the five questions is going to be the area of each of these squares is 9. What is the perimeter of the whole rectangle? 
So what do we have to find what times what can equal nine for just one square? And if we do three times three, we would get nine. So if we do three times three, we would get nine. We have to put three on the whole entire outside of the thing because we're f trying to find the perimeter and it's the square. So we have to put three on the whole entire outer thing. And so it would be nine for the bottom row, nine for the top row, and three and three for the both sides. So nine plus three is 12, and another 9 plus 3 is 12. If you had 12 and 12, you would get B, which is 24. Now, you guys try these questions. Of the following, which quotient is the greatest? If my height is 450 centimeters, then my height is divided by 5. It, it, it is. So... Try out these questions and put your answers for these questions in the comments below. And in the next video, in math, I'm going to be putting out the answers in the beginning of the video. I hope you liked the video, guys. Bye, see you next video. And make sure to like, share, and subscribe.